Hi everyone, welcome back to Webflux Essentials. And in this video, we are going to create the schema. So in the database on PostgreSQL schema, you can just, uh, if you're using DataJ, you can just right click and create a new schema. You can give the name of this schema anyway. I'm going to use the same structure that we were using on Spring Boot Essentials 2. And then uh, we can create it here a table so why am i doing this because r2dbc does not support jpa or hibernate or anything that would make our life really nice and easy unfortunately we have to create everything manually so far so i'm um, creating a schema called anime and a table called anime and inside this table i will add two fields the first one will be id i will leave as uh, integer it will be not no out uh, increment and then this will be primary key and this will be unique as well so just check everything and then i will add another one this one we can call it uh, maybe name or title let's go with name and this one will be var char uh, let's put as not no and um, we leave everything as it is so we have the script here and then we just execute make sure that you have the table here so we have id and then we have name and now we are going to our project resources just rename application.properties to application.yaml because we are in 2020 uh, and then we are going to set up the database connection so basically you could do this through java config or you can do it through application.yaml i would do the setup for application.yaml because i'm trying to keep as close as possible to what we saw in spring boot essentials because if if we have someone that's not familiar with functional programming at least some part will be familiar and easy to follow so just copy uh, just type spring and then you can add here password you already know the password you already know the username and let's put the username first not that that matters it's just statics and then url so the url uh it starts with r2dbc and then post agree sql and i'm sorry if i'm mispronouncing this because oh freaking weird name to pronounce for non-native speakers and then local host the port is 5432, what we defined inside the Docker Compose. So we are mapping the port inside the container to this port in my computer. And then this is the, the database. So I'm just using this database. And the schema that I'm using is anime. Okay, pretty straightforward. Uh, this is everything that we have to do. Let's just try to start the application and make sure that everything is running. So we have this uh, reactor debug mode on IntelliJ. We can open settings and if you want, we can use this uh, reactor debug agent dot init. So it will make our life easier when we are working uh, with reactive programming and we have some stack trace to follow but to do this we have to add the reactor tools in the class path let's just add quickly reactor dash tools so we don't have to add a version because of spring and we have the project running so this is everything that i wanted to tell you we have the database running and we have the project running so this is everything that i have to tell you in this video in the next one we are going to continue our training so see you there bye